we present time multiplexed coded aperture imaging, learned coded apertures and pixel exposures for compressive imaging systems. In single snapshot compressive imaging, the goal is to capture a scene with an optoelectronic system that encodes interesting visual quantities of a scene in a single snapshot. The snapshot obtained with such a system does not look like your typical photograph, but it is possible to recover the visual quantity encoded by the system using algorithms. For instance, one can reconstruct multiple spectral bands from a single grayscale pictures to perform hyperspectral imaging. One way to build such systems is to use coded apertures. Those are masked, placed in the aperture plane of a camera that block light in certain regions. Why is that useful? As seen in this image, lights coming from different sources cast different shadows. These shadows encode the angle and the distance of the sources to the aperture plane. Therefore, given an image of the shadow patterns, it is possible to recover, for instance, where the sources are. Coded aperture masks can be realized physically by placing absorbing materials in the aperture plane. Those are fixed and cannot be easily changed. But they can also be realized electronically using a digital light processor, such as digital micromirrors or special light modulators. An advantage of those electronic DLPs is that the coded aperture pattern can be changed through time, even within the course of a single exposure. This is what we will use in this work. Coded apertures have been used in a variety of computational imaging applications, for instance, to perform light field photography, such as in the work of Marwa et al, or hyperspectral imaging, in the work of Vageda Ricard et al. Here, we build on those two works and show how coded apertures can be substantially improved in both those applications by adding another coding element, a coded exposure. In this work, we propose time multiplexed coded apertures, or TMCA, a new type of codification. TMCA consists of a coded aperture that varies in time during the exposure of our snapshot. And we add a specially varying coded exposure to it. Coded exposures consist in modulating the shutter of the camera at each pixel during the exposure. Instead of switching the pixel on during the whole time of the exposure, we program it to be switched off during certain time slots. When it is off, a pixel does not integrate light. In our proposed time multiplexed coded aperture, we thus vary the coded apertures as well as the coded exposures in time simultaneously. They are synchronized. At the start of a slot of the coded exposure, we flash a new coded aperture to the digital light processor. We show this new type of codification is superior in terms of conditioning of the sensing matrix and leads to better reconstruction quality. Note, time multiplex coded apertures do not necessarily lead to higher complexity compared to coded aperture systems, since the coded exposures can be realized electronically in pixel. We suggest to learn the coded apertures and coded exposures of TMCA in an end-to-end -end fashion. We consider the camera as an optoelectronic encoder that produces our single coded snapshot. The snapshot is fed to a decoder, here a neural network, to solve the inverse problem, yielding the reconstructed image. The TMCA codification, as well as the parameters of the neural network, are optimized during a training phase in which the dataset of images is encoded and decoded through the pipeline. The loss calculated between the ground truth images and the reconstructed images can then be backpropagated in the whole pipeline to update the parameters of both the encoder and the decoder. TMCA is a general codification that can be used with any imaging system that contains coded apertures. Here, we focus on demonstrating TMCA for two systems, for which we adapt the optical elements of the encoder to realize two different applications. In hyperspectral imaging, we reconstruct 12 spectral bands from a single coded snapshot, while in our second application, for compressive light field imaging, we reconstruct 25 angular views from a single coded snapshot. Let's try to better understand why this new codification helps in the case of compressive spectral imaging. After passing through the coded aperture, and the dispersion system consisting of a prism that disperses light solely on the vertical direction x, the light reaches the focal plane. We now consider the first and third pixel that are open holes that let light pass through the coded aperture. After light is vertically dispersed, the focal plane sees the spectrum decomposition of those first and third pixels. This happens in the first and third columns of the focal plane array. Alternatively, one can think of those in the coded aperture as being wideband almost all pass filters. Then comes the shuttering in a focal plane array that acts as an element-wise product. This results in selecting only some of the spectral bands in the focal plane array, 
For the first column on the focal plane array, both the top and the second from last pixels are selected. Those correspond to the purple and red bands. While for the third column, only the top pixels corresponding to the purple band is selected. Note this is only for the first time slot of the exposure. Let's assume the exposure consists of a second time slot. At time slot 2, both the coded aperture and the coded exposure change simultaneously. This results in another set of filters in the focal plane array. Green for the first column and a combination of yellow and red for the third. According to our imaging model, the sub-exposures of the different time slots are integrated together in the final exposure. We thus obtain the filters for the first and third pixels for the whole exposure, here as seen on the focal plane array. How does this look on the coded aperture? Effectively, our TMCA is mathematically equivalent to creating band pass filters in the coded aperture plane. Those filters are the combination of spectral bands corresponding to the pixels selected by the coded exposure in the focal plane. Similarly for compressive light field imaging, we let the reader refer to the paper to see how TMCA allows us to think of pixels in the coded aperture plane as becoming angular selective. Overall, by adding a time dimension by synchronizing coded exposure with time-varying coded apertures, we have added selectivity, either in the spectral domain or angular domain, to the pixels in the coded aperture plane. This selectivity improves the conditioning of the compressive imaging system, as shown in those graphs in which we plotted the eigenvalues of the sensing matrices. TMCA presents a much lower ratio between highest and lowest singular values and has fewer eigenvalues that are zero, yielding theoretically better reconstructions. Let's show this is indeed the case in our experiments, starting with our compressive hyperspectral imaging setup. TMCA outperforms other single snapshot compressive spectral imaging setups we surveyed on all metrics. The reconstructed images are much crisper. And the 12 spectral bands we recover are much more accurate. This also translates to a compressive light field imaging setup. For compressive light field, TMCA yields more accurate reconstructions and less color loss. This is also demonstrated with a real prototype we implemented. Here we show the 25 angular views recovered in an animation, along with the captured coded snapshots. Both the text and the details on the clothes of the figurine can be recovered more accurately. In a nutshell, time-multiplexed coded apertures are time-varying synchronized coded apertures with coded exposures. They yield a better conditioning of sensing matrices for single snapshot compressive imaging systems, and they do not require more hardware components as the coded exposures can be realized on the sensor in pixel. This work is a collaboration between the High Dimensional Signal Processing Research Group at the Universidad Industrial de Santander and the Stanford Computational Imaging Lab.